Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for March 21st through the 27th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Scorpio... Scorpio sound. Yeah. Which was Juno kind of stretching while she's sleeping. If you know. Got it. The uh, overall energy for the reading, the Page of Cups. Someone is kind of trying or wanting to open up for something and I feel like that someone is you. I'm not sure how much you're doing it. It's looking more like I want to, I want to, I want to be open, I want to stay open to a particular situation. In the recent past, the Five of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Three of Cups, this looks like a reconciliation, like a full blast, let's put our differences behind and let's give this another shot kind of thing. Now, I don't know if this happened necessarily, it kind of feels like it did. I don't know how long it lasted though, with those differences put aside. Feels like, I don't know, I don't know. We'll have to clarify and see. Because in the current situation, you get the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Three of Wands. Someone is feeling like they're on their own here. There is a commitment here that shows up, but someone is feeling like they're on their own. So it's either you may be with someone, but waiting for, you know, the big next step or you're not but you're kind of hoping that that's gonna happen you know like let's get into it here let's go for a commitment why the hell not but i feel like this waiting has been going on for a while i don't know in the immediate future the king of pentacles the ace of swords the knight of wands Man, I heard shooting for the stars with this one, uh, but it's the material stars. <laughs> it's one of those things of, uh, I feel like there's sudden growth in the material, possibly tied up to your job or something, something that gives you that sense of stability within your own little world there. Uh, there's definitely a boost up or, or there's a calling in a particular direction. There's that sense of, man, it feels good. I'm going to go for it kind of thing. Um, or even this energy that does feel good is approaching you. So I don't know. Huh. Um, let's see. Let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see the page of cups there. The eight of wands, the four of wands, the devil. There's something with this freaking commitment. There's something about it. Uh, again, that sense of keeping an open mind, keeping an open heart. And I feel like your communication is trying to come from that place. The energy of the connection is not resonating with the place you're coming from, though. Uh, there's something, there could be something toxic at stake. There could be something that's not matching your energy there within that connection. It's something that doesn't resonate with you. And I feel like you don't necessarily feel it because that... You know, that's more sensed at a soul level. So your soul would know it. You out here, Scorpio out here, wouldn't necessarily. You know how it is when we're like, I want to have this. I want to get this. Uh, sometimes it's not for our highest good, but we still kind of... Err. But we don't see it in the moment. We may see it later. And, you know, hopefully we do. Uh, but when we're in the middle of it, we're like, no, I don't see it. No, I want it. Go away. Stop talking to me about what it is that I want and what I don't want. You like, go away. I hate you. Well, something about this commitment here. Um, let's see the five of wands in the recent past. The three of cups, the fool, the eight of swords. There's been a whole lot of almost preparation for this, almost anticipation of this we gotta get back together kind of thing 
uh, where someone was coming from a place of, I'll just go all in. What the hell? There's love here. How can it not work with so much love in here? But then comes the overthinking part. Then comes, but what if, what if they don't love me? What if I love them and they don't love me as much as I do? And what if, uh, you know, what if they do love me, but they don't want this because they're scared and, uh, and you could go in there and go on and on and on and on and on for a thousand freaking years. So it's, this is not necessarily conflict between you and the other energy. It could be, but it's shown up more as your conflict created by your mind, you know, surrounding this. So I feel like that has, it kind of stayed there for quite some time, this inner conflict before three of cups let's see what it is <laughs> knight of swords the death card the chariot before you said fuck it i'm not doing this anymore and then changing your mind five minutes after you know um and it's not i mean it's a painful situation i've been there we're, we've all been there we've all done this crap you know where you look at it and you're like how the hell um I don't know. I don't know what came out of it. Because I see you here. You're showing me the Nine of Pentacles. You know, right after that, you're showing me the Nine of Pentacles, which is an energy of, yeah, this is me, Scorpio. I'm single, pretty, 20-something or 40-something or whatever your age. And I live there. And, oh, did I mention that I'm single? Just so that I make that clear. Yeah. And, you know, I like the snow or the beach. I go quite the, the contrast there. Uh, and um, I'm allergic to cherries. And also, oh, I'm single in case I forgot to tell. You know, you're kind of showing me that energy here. So like, what the hell happened there then? It was a whole bouncing of energies for like, I give up, fuck this shit. And then, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go out with a bang. I'm going to go right back in there. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do the Nine of Pentacles in the current situation. You get the, oh man. The Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. All right, so, okay. So you're stepping up more and more into how you feel about the situation. You're, you're showing me more clarity about, okay, you know what? And, and not only that, you're showing me clarity through shaking off abandonment wound here that was tied up to you for quite some time probably throughout this whole process uh so there's definitely a sense of getting past that fear to align more with how you feel about this and that does kind of provide for you a sense of freedom from even that fear of yours so it kind of makes sense with the nine of pentacles a little more now now let's see the four of wands because that showed up tied up to the devil Let's see what is it about this connection. Okay. The magician, the hermit, the emperor. This could be a tricky energy. Overall, I see you aligned with what it is that you want, what it is that you seek out of commitment, out of the energy of commitment. Now, if this is specific to a particular commitment then it could fall into the controlling aspect of things. Then it could look like, well, I want this one. It has to be this one. And that's not very aligned with what your higher self shows me that they want. They want the energy of commitment. They're not saying it has to be this one. You're saying it has to be this one. And that's what makes this devil show up, tied up to this commitment. And it's not the devil of the commitment, it's your devil to basically understand how this energy can be found out there. And it's one that could be actually healthy for you and one that's matching you. And it may not be this one. Are you ready to accept that? Because if you're not, you carry this devil energy with you because you want this one. And the universe may be telling you, but this is not healthy. Can't you see the ways in which maybe it's not healthy for you? Maybe it's not resonating, vibrating with you. What are you talking about? It's vibrating like hell. It's this one. 
no other one in this world would vibrate more with me than this one. Let's do the Three of Wands in the current uh, situation. Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. You're, you're, ah, Scorpio, I just want to, because you're getting it. You are getting it. You're not applying it yet. So there's, there's a little background Scorpio that's looking at all of this and they're like, yeah, 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 that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to implement it, it takes a while to get it to Scorpio brain and put it in practice. So I see you getting it through this extended period of waiting for whatever commitment this is to come together, which for some reason it's not, but you know, it's a healthy one. That's why it's not. Um, <laughs> but it's like, I see you getting it and I see you creating a brand new freaking energy and you understand that it's the energy. It's not necessarily the person. You're just very shy in approaching it, which is telling me you're not fully aligned with your understanding of this yet. So it, it kind of hits you somewhere in there, inside of you, but you're not digging in deep to, to go and align with that. Not yet. You're on your way. Not yet. Yeah, I get it. Man, that can get loud sometimes. Let's do the King of Pentacles in the immediate future. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. You're trying. You're you're still in this process of getting it, but while in this process, it feels like it's um, almost like you get to a point where it looks too easy, too simple, too no, this can't be it. It's too easy. Where all of us were almost like purposely trying to complicate things because it looked too easy. And you're, you're facing an energy that looks like a perfect match, like a perfect, this is it. But you look at it and it's like, nah, 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 there's gotta be something more to it. Nope, nope, because I see it, I see the, the complication process showing up right after this energy pops up. It's like, there, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Makes sense, matches, everything's perfect. Nah, 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 nah. Mm -mm, there's got to be more to it. And the minute you do that, you start stressing yourself out. You know, you start complicating things up there in your head. And it gets all very complicated. It turns from very simple to very complicated. Let's do the Ace of Swords in the immediate future. The Lovers, the King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. It's like you're learning different ways of approaching connection, love, something quite meaningful to you. When it becomes very, very meaningful, I see you in the place of, you know what? I did it like this my whole life. Let me do it like this. Let's see what happens. So you're learning to approach that in a very different way. You're not there yet where you've learned it, but you're starting to learn how to approach very meaningful situations in a different way, which could be good. Because you know how it is. When you try to fix something over and over again with the same tools, you're probably going to get the same result. So changing it up a little, not a bad idea. Uh, Knight of Wands in the immediate future. You get the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess, the World card. Uh, okay, so... You're ending a cycle here, and this cycle might be you rushing yourself out of a situation, telling yourself or trying to convince yourself to rush through this process of moving on from something that, you know, was you were part of just now kind of thing. And you're like, no, I'm moving on. Starting tomorrow. What tomorrow? Starting in five minutes. I'm out. I'm moving on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But there's a process to it. There's some energies tied up to it. Follow those energies instead of, you know, convincing yourself. No, I'm, I'm out. Because uh, that's basically lying to yourself. Just just allow your intuition to guide you through that process. Even if it takes longer than five minutes or the next day. It might. Usually it does. So try not to rush this process of basically moving on from situations that just don't serve you anymore. Even if it's your own situations created by you, not necessarily tied up to another person. Um, so that's cool that this rush is kind of coming to an end. 
you're allowing yourself a little more time. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. The Judgment card, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups. I don't know. I feel like you've been in a rough place for quite some time here. You're still right there winging it a little bit, but you're not... You're better. You're a little better. You're starting to fall more into your emotions. You're starting to open back up, which that's a sign of healing to me. Uh, you're still in the process of healing. You're still in a... It's like you're going through... It's like you're in your own little cocoon. And you're not out yet, but you're making your way out. You know? Uh, to that butterfly, that new Scorpio. So it's basically what this reading is. All of these energies coming from all sorts of places and kind of shaping you up or helping you um, gain those wings, basically. It's, it's nice. It's nice. It's... Uh, it's frustrating at times but it looks nice so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye